All right, guys, I'm gonna do a short video today uh, about are you prepared when unforeseen circumstances come into your business? Uh, like, it's really changed my life the last four weeks. Uh, me being hurt, my kneecap going out, my meniscus tearing, and two torn ligaments. So I've just had to, had to shift on the fly and luckily I had some guys trained for washing. I had already kind of transitioned out of my painting business as far as me being out painting every day. And I had got to the washing side of it where we started five years ago and I really enjoy washing. I guess I did painting for so long. It just, I was just ready for something else, you know, something different. But I was just gonna tell y'all today, little, I got some things I've figured out. You know, God's kind of pushed me into in the position in my business today to where I'm wearing shirts like this that I used to just wear out to eat with my wife because I was always so nasty and dirty all day. Uh, I see guys all the time putting out stuff about uh, staying, uh, how to get off the truck and start growing your business. I always read those things. I was like, man, nobody, I mean, never will I ever be able to get off the truck. And then, you know, my knee did what it did. And uh, God said, all right, you're gonna get off the truck. And it's been like a really eye-opening experience. Luckily, uh, my wife and I have had started about five years ago, the Dave Ramsey baby steps, you know, and started saving some money back. And, just doing some smart things financially, uh, which I still invest in my business all the time. I'm, I'm a big, like, I mean, we just bought a 2020 little Nissan van I found a guy had with 13,000 miles on it and added another two guys. I took them out of the main crew because I got to where I had seven guys painting on one crew and I had so many small jobs that I had scheduled me to do before my knee messed up. So I just made the investment last week and bought another little van and put it into, put it into service uh, with a guy that has been with me seven or eight years on and off. And uh, he would go back on drugs and go back to prison. And, but I just believed in this guy. I saw something in him. Sometimes people have to come near you and see something in you that you can't see. And we got him in a rehab. I mean, I'm not going into the whole story, but it's just awesome to see God change this guy's life. And now he started today driving the new van. He went, you know, he's gone to do a little job. He did a little small job yesterday. Did a little small job today. Uh, going to do a little, another little small job this afternoon. But that van will pay for itself because I don't have to tell people I'm 16 weeks booked paint, you know, uh, I can get little small bedrooms in and that little thing will pay for itself and bring in some more revenue. So, but planning uh, for things that are gonna happen in your life, uh, it's not if it's gonna happen, it's when it's gonna happen. Uh, I keep extra equipment laying around. You know, pressure washer pump goes down. We pick, grab another one, throw it on the truck, keep right on rolling. Uh, I'm a, I'm a planner. I like to plan. I like to have a plan. Uh, I'm already planning for the neck for the big cruise van. Got a lot of miles on it. Starting to have some trouble with it. I just flip that thing out. Find me another van that somebody's bought. You know, three or four years old. Go ahead and put them in that and and ride out uh, for four or five more years. You know, and it's made money get rid of it i mean i, I had one to add 350,000 miles on it and it started knocking and we drove that thing for another six months i'm talking about knocking and one day i was i bought another van put them in it put him in front of the uh put it out here in front of my shop which i'm pulling in the shop right now uh put it out here in front of the shop that thing somebody came along gave me 500 bucks for it I think I gave two grand for it and we run it three years. Uh, so anyway, that's, that's kind of what I, I like to keep a plan of action going. 
so that I'm always kind of ahead of the game, ahead of the troubles that we're gonna have because it's coming. But be prepared for, really financially, guys. Uh, you know, I thought when my knee went out, I was actually on a boat and they got me back on the boat and I laid there and I, my first, my first thing I said was, do you realize how much work I've got to do right now? And it was the thinking that if I didn't do it, it wasn't done right. And you know, I've had to put two guys out there washing. We have had callbacks. I mean, I'm just gonna be honest with you. I've had callbacks and I've had to go out there during the day and just watch them and show them and teach them and just guide and direct. And, and you know, when they fail, it's my fault. I'm, I'm, the, why, I'm the reason why they fail because I haven't trained them right. Uh, but I'm learning how to grow my business, not being out there working every day, all day long. Uh, and it's just a transition. It's out of my comfort zone. Men are creatures of habit. We do not like change. But I'm gonna tell you, it's, it's made me grow as a, as a leader. You know, we've started doing classes on Monday mornings. Uh, just systems are being put in place, more systems. We've revamped our old systems since this has happened and uh, reaching out, grabbing more commercial work. It's just been a blessing, man. But I hope this video is encouraging. I've been wanting to do it for a couple days. I kind of took a break from uh, all the media, social media stuff for a couple days, three or four days. But anyway, I hope y'all have a blessed day. Uh, like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, we always got stuff coming out, uh, but I'm just trying to encourage y'all, if you're just starting out, grind, man. Just grind every day. Uh, God will bless it. Sometimes you got to give God something to bless. Uh, a grateful attitude and an encouraging spirit, no matter what's going on. Man, that's, that's how I've got to where I am today. And I hope y'all have a wonderful day. Have a blessed day. And uh, remember, Jesus loves you.